Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome to Outward on the PS4 Pro. So you may notice uh, something's wrong with my voice, guys. He's going through puberty again. I am going through a second puberty. Uh, so I'm like super hungry, I'm all moody, can't control my hormones. Boner pant city. <laughs> the Praetorian's all grown up, guys. Over here humping on Jinx's leg and shit. That's just rude. Uh, so I am sick, guys, unfortunately. Uh, but we've been looking forward to this game for a very long time, so we definitely had to play it. We waited as long as we could. Uh, we actually tried recording this last night, and uh, didn't go well. My voice just wasn't wasn't there, guys. Uh, so we're trying again today, and hopefully, we got tea, honey, <laughs> you name it. Yeah. We are doing what we can. Yeah, so hopefully we can get through this video all right, and uh, that you don't mind that my voice is kind of messed up, guys. But we really want to play this game because it just like fits with our channel perfectly, guys. It's a split-screen survival RPG. Uh, definitely something that uh, I think is going to gel very well with, with our style and the type of games we like to play. And I get to play. And Jinx gets to play. So, yeah, definitely wanted to check it out, guys. Uh, didn't want to wait any longer for it. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, also, uh, one interesting thing that I found about this game is that even the second player can do the tutorial, which is pretty, pretty cool. fantastic. Player 2 is a real person. So let's go ahead and we once again we did start once we played through we didn't get very far we got to about the point when you leave the, the first village uh, so we have a little bit of experience with the game and we'll share our experience uh, so we're gonna be creating two new characters okay oh you can have multiple characters oh can you interesting all right well we're gonna be creating new characters guys player two has entered the game all right so this is the uh, create a character screen. There's really not a whole lot to it. No, we're twinsies. We are twinsies. We're Jim and Kim. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and name our characters. Praetorian. Can you not name yours while no, mine's up? No, I can't do anything while here. All right. So. All right, and Jinx. Let's see if I can spell this. <laughs> All right. So you can pick a, a gender, male or female. Uh, the race is basically white, Asian, or black. So I'm just going to be a white dude. Okay. Not a lot of face faces, guys. No, you can either be a pudgy male or a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only guy with facial hair. He looks kind of sickly. I guess it would be fitting since I'm sick. I don't know. Might just go with this guy, though. Mm, okay. Or this dude. You should be that pompous, wrinkly feller. What? This guy? <laughs> what display is this guy? Uh, hairstyle. Okay. I think I'm just going to be bald. I'm going for the windblown look. It's yeah, it looks like... my hair up so bad. Yeah, it looks like you put a bunch of gel in your hair mm -hmm. and, and went outside. And, yeah. Kind of reminds me... You remember anyway. something about Mary? Oh, yeah. Ew, <laughs> hair gel. Yeah, when she had the jizz in her hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what I'm rocking. I'm going to regret this later. <laughs> Jinx going with the purple dew. Maybe I'll become a hairstyle. The ha hairstyle. Oh my style, god. My calling. The <laughs> ultimate <laughs> man bun. At oh, that's I fantastic. It, fro, it looks like a fro. You wouldn't even need a pillow. Wouldn't need a helmet. that protect you. All right. So I guess that's it. I think legacy is for, I don't know what that's for. Maybe a past character. Ooh, right. There isn't permadeath, is there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, so... The gist of this game, besides the fact that it's a uh, survival RPG, you know, when I say survival, you know, you got to eat, drink, sleep, sleep, manage your temperature, all that kind of stuff. Uh, on top of that, the the idea is that you're a you're like a nobody, Joe Blow. Yeah, you're just like a regular guy. You're not supposed to be like a hero of the story. I am down with that. Like so many RPGs, uh, so it's a it's an interesting take on it. I'm gonna open a shop and charge ridiculous fees and prices. <laughs> I'm not going to give anybody shit for their goodies. So Jinx is going to be our narrator. She's going to read everything since I'm sick. All my life, I've lived within the safety of Sears, though spared the brutality of the world outside. But life in Araya is never that easy. For all the safety that my tribe provides, our laws are harsh. We are judged not as individuals, but as bloodlines. The failures of my bloodline weigh heavy on me. My grandmother brought ruin to our tribe long ago, bringing a heavy blood price upon my family. We've paid the debt caused by her actions ever since. 
I joined an expedition across the sea with my old friend Yazan, hoping the money made there would be enough to clear my debts. This was a mistake. I'm lucky to still be breathing after our ship hit rocks on the return voyage. Now I have no choice but to pick myself up yet again and face the wild, untamed land outside the walls. I must carve out my own future, or die trying. And we are born. I just crawled out of your ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she did. That's where she hangs out. That's where babies come from, guys. That's where she hangs out on her, uh, whenever we're traveling. She just hops into my <laughs> ass and hangs out there. So we are Nagy, starting the game out Nagy. So pretty much we're starting out the game the way you'd start just about any other game. Uh, you know, we're... In our underbridges. Un in our underwear, yeah. I don't All know survival why I can't games start the dead way. guys, though. You can loot dead guys. I can't take their clothes. Oh, yeah, you can't take this guy's clothes. Out of respect for him, Jinx. I have no respect for anyone or anything. All right, we got some, you want some clothes, Jinx? I want berries. That's what I want. Well, there's uh, some clothes we get you. Get you suited up over here, Jinx. Well, I have the nicer body, so I think it's only fair that you wear the clothes. You know why Jinx wants me to wear the tattered apparel? Because we happen to know that the next outfit that we find is better than this one. <laughs> so Jinx wants that outfit. It's green. And I get I get to be the tattered, the tattered peasant what are you in rags. About? You look like such a pompous dude. So to go and kind of just show you uh, all the the menus and screens. So this is our inventory here. Uh, one of the interesting aspects of the game is the fact that. Uh, everything you have has to go in, you know, in a bag or in person. something. Yeah, you have your pocket where you can carry up to 10 weight. Uh, you have a backpack. Uh, the backpack, I guess we'll get into the backpack a little bit later, but here's our equipment screen. Here's our vitals. See our health, stamina, mana, uh, our food, drink, sleep. And then on the far right is the temperature of our character. Uh, this is where we do crafting. And this is where you do the quick slots. So we have eight quick slots. We'll hold R2 or L2 to be able to use those. Uh, pretty useful overall. A lot of a lot of console RPGs don't give you enough slots for, for all your powers and stuff. They right. really don't. This is our current abilities that we have. So we can kick, we can throw a lantern, fire or reload <laughs> a pistol, and do a dagger slash. Okay. I have gathered all the wood in my pants. <laughs> so Jinx has got wood in her pants. If you needed to know that. <laughs> All right, so let's do a bit of running here. Oh, clean water. Yeah, I guess we'll drink this. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So well, there's a camp up here. I'm going to get some berries real quick. So the camp up here where we're going to do a bit of sleeping. Oh, wait, that's where you get the beetles from, Jinx. Oh, shit. Where'd you get a beetle? From the, uh, you can find beetles in the berry bushes. So before we were worried about, we were wondering where uh, Jinx kept finding beetles, and she kept swearing that she got them from me. That yeah. I, I had to give her like bed bugs or something like that. He did. <laughs> All right, so this is our friend uh, that we were talking about in the intro. He's on. Let's go loot all his shit first. Nobody seems to mind that we steal their stuff. Basically, there doesn't seem to be like a thievery mechanic in the game, uh, so you can pretty much pick up anything you want. Let's as far as we know. Did you want to read this for us? Victorian, you're alive. You must be freezing. Come warm up by the fire before you freeze to death. We're not far from home. You can see the lighthouse from here, can't you? He's a Kazite. He was born on a ship. Go ahead and sleep in one of the extra bedrolls. Alright, so Jinx and I are going to take a nap. You don't Good come... Night. You don't want to come sleeping. <laughs> Look at the way she shimmies into her bedroll, guys. <laughs> That's how I get into bed in real life. You didn't. You don't want to sleep in bedroll with me, Jinx? No, it's too tiny. Come snuggle up with me, keep me warm. And your tattered clothing looks like it has bugs. <laughs> there Jinx goes with the goddamn <laughs> bugs again. <laughs> All right, so this is the rest of the mechanic, guys. Uh, you pick how many hours of the night you want to sleep, how many hours you want to set up guard to avoid ambush, and how many hours you want to repair your equipment. The repairing of the equipment is only the equipment that you actually have equipped. So if you need something repaired over the night, make sure you equip it. Uh, we have no risk of ambush, so we're just going to be sleeping. We have no equipment to repair. I'm going to do all the sleeping. I don't think we need to sleep all that long, really. I'd say like four hours, because okay. I don't think we're that sleepy right now. Good night. That fire is loud. 
Mm-hmm. The sound in the game is is kind of odd. Uh, it's first of all, it's extremely loud. We had to turn the master sound down by quite a bit. Uh, on top of that, the music is way too loud. I had to adjust that as well. Yeah, that flautist was going at it. Yeah, he he was in his solo. <laughs> he didn't get very many opportunities to show off his skills. He's like, I've got to shine, show people <laughs> that the flute rocks. Uh, so another interesting element is how the uh, how there's a little bit of voice acting. Uh, but not everything is voice acted. So it's usually like the first or second sentence of a paragraph. So it's very confusing. Yeah, like what I'm not sure how exactly we're going to do it, what we're going to read and what we aren't. Uh, but it kind of reminds me of the Obsidian games. Uh, God, what are they called? Uh, Pillars of Eternity? Oh, okay. Yeah. Unconsciousness comes quickly and you dream of being ensnared in something. With a yelp, you jump out of your bed. Relief floods you as you recognize where you are. You're back in your old bed at home, the lighthouse in Sierzo. Izan must have brought you back to your family's lighthouse. Only your aching body tells you that the shipwreck you suffered was not a nightmare. All right, so food rocks with time. Eat or cook your food before it goes to waste. I love that they let you flip between the, the tips mm -hmm. on your own. Like, thank you. Next, please. All right, so let's go and put our fire away. I don't think I need that out. Look at my fancy red covers. So these are the clothes Jinx wanted, the green worker attire. I'm taking the boots, though. Okay. Jinx doesn't need boots. She I likes, need a dress. She likes walking around barefoot. I'm a lady. <laughs> so I get the rags. Jinx has the nice clothes. It's green worker clothes. Like, <laughs> I don't know where I'm working. I guess I should have asked. Like, what kind of worker are we talking here? Well, I'm going to snatch the satchel. Well, I'm going to get all the colored skulls. Uh, okay, so backpacks and satchels, uh, they go, you know, you wear them, uh, and they do slow down your roll. And you'll notice that little exclamation point comes up, letting us know that with our roll, uh, it, we're not not as quick with it because we have a backpack on. Uh, luckily, it's really, really easy to throw your, your backpack, or in this case, your satchel, on the ground and then pick it back up. So before you get in combat, probably something that you want to do. Just don't forget it and run off. <laughs> <laughs> I got some jerky, Jinx. I got some jerky, too. All right, so I believe the kitchen is right down here. Cook up some grub. Barefoot in the kitchen. All right, so I'm taking all the shit. Jinx don't get nothing. What? <laughs> so rude. I'm taking the jam. So here, well, I think I needed the jam to make the the traveling uh, oh, rations. Yeah. So I in the I can share. so in the kitchen, uh, this is the way that you make any recipes that require more than one ingredient. Uh, when you're in the uh, campfire, you can only like cook meat. Use things that require one ingredient. So you do have to locate kitchens if you want to do some advanced cooking. Did you want the jam? Yeah, I guess if you want to drop it. I can make us those uh, traveling rations. I don't know if that's something you need, but... Why not? Hmm. Oh, I'm still missing the salt. Oh. I don't have any salt. Yeah, I could have swore they had salt here in the beginning. I must have... Uh, oh, lantern. Missed it somewhere. I'll take it. Huh. Yeah, I could have swore there was salt right in the beginning. Now, there was a patch since we played, guys. So we played last night when the game first came out. And uh, there's been a patch this afternoon. So I'm assuming that they might have made some adjustments to it. Another thing, I'm, I meant to mention this in the beginning of the episode, is that we're going to be having a key giveaway, guys. Uh, we have an extra key because the developers gave us two keys so that we could each play it, which we might actually play the game non-split screen uh, just because we do have two keys and we have two PS4s. Uh, however, uh, we we bought the game last night because we didn't know when the developers were going to give us the keys, so we actually have three keys. Uh, so we're thinking we're going to go ahead and give the extra one away. Uh, if you're interested in getting a key for this game, then go ahead and post down in the comments below that you're interested, and we'll just randomly pick one person that you know that you won. All right, so let's go ahead and go outside where the rabble will be waiting. Rise and shine, trog spawn. You think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? A blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. If I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten, you'll regret you ever came home. Yeah, you were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? If you can't make the payments you missed, we will seize your home! Enough of this! 
Twelve people are dead. Stop this shameful behavior at once. To threaten someone like this while the lost lives are still fresh is an insult to their memory. But... Chamber Lady Aberdeen... I said that is enough! If you want to resume discussions after the mourning period, feel free. Oliel, see these people off, would you? You heard, Mother. Away with you, or I will personally see to it that you get double shifts of guard duty. I'm sorry that was the first thing you woke up to. Please forgive them. Many of them have lost family and are not thinking straight. If I could do more, I would. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. That gives you a few days to pay back the money. Either gather the money, or earn a tribal favor, and they won't be able to touch you. Once you can make the payment, come see me. Please, find a way to make it work. That does seem like your most effective option, dangerous as it is. Never forget, no one is an orphan in Cierzo. Do not hesitate to ask the rest of the tribe for survival advice. If you can do a great deed for someone in Cierzo, we will owe you a tribal favor. Once you're ready to leave Cierzo, speak with Burak, the Gate Warden. Remember, you only have a few days. May your ancestors watch over you. If you guys see any weird cuts like that one right there, that is us editing out any coughing that I'm doing so you guys don't have to listen to that. <laughs> it's bad enough you guys gotta listen to my raspity voice. What are you talking about? This sexy Barry White music voice. <laughs> yeah, Jinx is loving it. <laughs> she had me whisper in her ear like this last night when we were in bed. Yeah, I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible idea. So did you, did you notice that they said that we could get out of paying them for a favor? I can only think of one kind of favor that would get us out of paying somebody. Your booty. Yes, yes. I wasn't saying that you would have to sleep with them, Jinx. Clearly, I'm going to have to prostitute myself out to the tribe to get a special favor. Oh, I'm sure there's some weird old men around here. Weird old men? You don't think any ladies would like this sexy bod, Jinx? Here in the village, you need to do three things to be able to leave uh, outside the village. Uh, you need to get a weapon. Uh, this stick that we have doesn't doesn't work and i have an actual weapon uh, we'll also need to get a backpack uh, so i have one jinx will need one as well and then the last thing we need is a water pouch once we get all three of those things we'll be able to leave the village essentially what you want to do here is just walk around picking up everything <laughs> stealing that, that you find shit. yeah nobody seems to mind it's like i don't know why the tribe doesn't like us <laughs> it's not like we're thieves or anything we're clearly like honorable members of society so this guy over here is how you learn new skills he trains you in new skills uh, what's his name Edo Amber my friend so we just ask him I want to train with you uh, it does cost a silver cost to be able to buy any new skills also there's some type of other resource the little broken looking chain here I'm guessing that's like you're leveling up I'm not entirely sure <laughs> how that works uh, right now of course we're broke so we won't be won't be doing anything. I got the water skin. So Jinx has got the water skin. So we both need a water skin. And one of the interesting things about the game is that although it is set up for you to be able to play split screen the entire way, it very much seems like it's set to be a multiplayer game. It doesn't seem like the world is set up for that. So like if you were playing single player, you could find everything you needed. Yeah, without having to like buy anything. Yeah, but unfortunately with two people, you do have to purchase some stuff. Uh, did you pick the spear up? No, I didn't. I'm looking for that. All right, hold up. What is this here? That's the water. Oh, okay. You get water from there. Got it. I want to say the spear is over here. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, it's right. It's right here. Oh, you found it? No, I found it. Oh, is it? Oh, it's the machete oh, that's over here. Oh, you got the machete. Okay. All right. I'll get the machete, I guess. I am over encumbered. So the machete is considered a dagger skill, so I'd prefer not to rock this one because when you leave the village, he teaches you one one skill for whatever weapon you're carrying. 
And I want to say I didn't learn any skill because I attempted to, to leave the village with the machete. So I'm going to want to get a different weapon because I think we already have the, uh, the dagger weapon. Yeah, there's an axe in one of these trees. I don't know which one, though. So are you going to use the spear jinx? Yeah, you know I'm the pokey stick holder. All right, well, if you find the axe, let me know. Okay. Yeah, Jinx. I don't need an axe because I'm gonna be a fisherman. Jinx is a, a big, lady. big fan of the the pokey spear. She likes to poke people. I do. It's fun. She likes the thrust. Oh, it's back here. Where is it? What the hell? Also, we haven't mentioned it yet, guys. Uh, but if it isn't clear at this point, uh, our con commentary and our content is not child appropriate. Uh, so this is your fair warning. Uh, children should not be watching this this series uh and if you don't like cursing and profanity if you got sensitive ears then uh you shouldn't be watching this series we don't want to hear anything in the comments about the cursing can you stop cursing please it's offensive because every series we do we have two or three people got to come in the comments griping about uh our profanity just jinx here do my npc thing all right so i want to say that there's something we missed um, i don't remember what it was though hey that yeah i don't know what it is I want to buy some stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy the backpack, Jinx, and then Is you can have something you need. You can have my satchel. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Do you want me to purchase you a water skin? Yeah, yeah. I'm I don't fucking rich. Bitch. I don't think I might have enough money. Oh, they buy the bugs. Yeah, <laughs> bugs are delicious. <laughs> All right, well let's buy the bugs then. They're spice or, excuse me, sell beetles. Them. Make a little bit of money even selling our spice beetles. Anything else that we have to sell here? I'm not seeing anything. What a shock room. Like, I would buy you a water skin, but there's fancy clothes. I'm gonna be a scholar. Alright, so I got the backpack, Jinx. Confirm Jinx. So I've only got 10 silver left. I'm broke. Jinx is probably gonna leave me for a rich man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I'm trying to find the fucking water skin. I think I need to put... Here we go. I don't think this guy has one. Take him. All right, so my satchel is down here on the ground if you wanted to... I think you need to go purchase it from... Oh, from no. this guy over here. Which one? The oh, general yeah. merchant over here. Durr. I'm at the, um, the scholarly person. Yeah, he's got like books. Here's my satchel if you wanted to get it. Okay. Oops. You are welcome, Jinx. Thank you. Hey there. What did the uh what does the alchemist have? Stuff. Is there something clothes. you need? Got some spicy tea. Ooh, spicy. I, I do want some clothes, man. I wonder if like who you sell your stuff to, you know, affects price at all. Cause this guy oh, seems to yeah. be a bug collector. Hmm. hmm. Okay, well, I have your water skin for you. All right, so I think we should have everything we need now, guys, to be able to go exploring. Which we've never actually been outside the wall, guys. Yeah. So this is going to be a new experience. Interesting. We may never want to leave again. Does the satchel have, or does the water have? It's got water. The water skin have it, water. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and move some of the shit out of our pockets, guys. I guess it's fine. So another thing we can do right from our inventory is craft anything we have the recipe for. Uh, so you can see we have a, uh, I can make arrows with my iron scrap and my wood, make a campfire kit, make a primitive club, which does probably a little bit more damage than my current weapon. I want to say these spikes are a trap that we can use. Try and get somebody to run into. Let me just take a look here. I think the ax is what we're going to want to equip. I wonder if anybody would be willing to buy my machete. Me, we may need it. Oh yeah, true. The all the weapons do have uh, durability loss, so we might need what to switch up weapons. Can I do here. for you? We just take a look right. and see if this guy is willing to buy my machete. He will buy it for five silver. Yeah, but it doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. I say that's a low price. I say we sell it, and that looks good. All right, guys. So I think we are ready to leave the village. I'm ready. I can just find the front gate. Should we buy a flint and steel thing? Uh, I have some flint and steel. Oh, you do? Okay. Yep. What is that? There's a pitchfork, Jinx. What? You want to rock the pitchfork? 
I mean, it seems pokier than my fishing spear, but... I knew that we had forgot something. Did we get the pitchfork last time? Yeah, I think I picked it up last time. Did you grab it? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. So we're ready? All right, yeah, this is the guy we talked to. Need something? Well, you got the essentials at least. Here, I'll teach you a skill. There you go. Mastering skills is the key to survival out in the wild. All right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls. Use the door when you want to head out. Okay, so basically we both learn the skill of whatever weapon the person who talks to them has. So okay. you learn the axe skill as well. All right, guys. So I did want to show you guys how the, the hotkeys work. So you can assign any item to here. So like if you want to be able to quickly switch you know, to bow and arrow. Uh, also, if you wanted to put like your healing items into your quick slot, you can put it there. there. Uh, and then your skills. So you can put any skill into the hotkey as well. Basically whatever you want. I got to check out my cleaver. So that's my cleaver ability. Oh. There's my kick. Probably shouldn't have used that since everything's got a ridiculous cooldown time. Unless there's enemies right outside the <laughs> gate, I think we'll be okay, Jinx. All right, so this is the first time that we have left the the village, guys. So up to this point, we have uh, no idea I know. <laughs> what to expect. I've heard that it's challenging now. Well, the gameplay kind of feels a little bit like the Souls series, Dark Souls series. Um. Those are fun. <laughs> you know, you got the roll, the block. Block rather than reducing endurance. It might reduce endurance, but there's a little bar underneath us. And that's your... Like balance Stability. Yeah, yeah, I think it's called stability. Yeah. And uh, if it gets hit to 50%, then it knocks you back. If it gets completely depleted, then you fall down. My character falls down a lot, so... <laughs> <laughs> that's just because he's clumsy. You notice the uh, starting characters can't use magic? Because we're not heroes, guys. We're just regular old people. Each tree has an unlimited Paying amount of wood. Debts. Whoa, it's so beautiful. All right, so we're going to finally start earning some new trophies. And I guess that's evidence that we haven't left yet. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you didn't believe us. Oh, man. I'm looking for a critter to kill. So or the main purpose me. of going out here does seem to, to get stuff to sell. So that we can pay off our debts. Because we are up to our eyeballs in debt, guys. I'm just going to go around gathering berries. Look at the beautiful butterflies, Jinx. Can, can I grab, grab them, them and rip yeah. their wings off? I'm sell sure them. that mage lady needs some... some Alchemy potion. ingredients? There's a, a bandit. A bandito. There were actually a couple quests in the That's village a, a that we, we forgot to get, <laughs> Jinx. Did you think a log was a bandit? I, I did. I mean, it's hard to see. Banditos, for reals this time. <laughs> Are you sure they're not like farmers or something, Jinx? They could just be regular people. I don't know. I haven't said hi to them yet. Jinx is just going to start oh, raising. Shit. Oh, Nope. Banditos. Yeah, they do seem like Run banditos. <laughs> Alright, so I guess this is our first combat, guys. I'm going to wait till Jinx gets oh, over shit. here. Oh, shit. He's like after you. Oh, shit. That one's got a bow. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to poke him. Alright, try and get this guy taken out. I know that we can Yay. block, guys. Oh, fuck. I'm almost dead. Get out of there. Oh, are you really? Yeah. Yep. I wasn't blocking. What are you dying for? This one's got a bow, though. So she's going to... I'm blocking. How are you hitting me? <laughs> Come on. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, I'm not locked on anymore. I missed. God damn it. Oh, this guy's I'm just standing pitch there. For it. How can I not, like, just stab this guy? Did you die? No. Oh, okay. Now the other guy did. <laughs> we did it. All right. All right. So we had a machete on him. Uh, did you want the arrows? And the I'll let you take all his stuff. Okay. He's got iron spikes. I got some some linen cloth. We can use this to make bandages. Oh, he had some bandages on him as well, and a iron sword. Excellent. Damn. All right, so you have bandages, right? Yep, yep. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal up real quick, guys. And it's really easy to access the inventory, so that you can easily apply bandages and stuff. Oh man, 
I didn't think there was going to be bandits just wandering around Right out from the here. start? All right, so let's go ahead and craft a few more bandages, guys. Or at least one more bandage. <laughs> uh, it does take quite a while to heal your character up. It really does, so stay out of trouble. It kind of feels like they sped that up a little bit, doesn't it? What, the healing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think they did in the patch. In the tutorial, it was taking a really long yeah, time. Yeah, a really long time. Let's go ahead and take a look at our needs, guys. We're good to go. I think a little indicator pops up if you are thirsty or, or hungry or anything like that. Yeah, you can just check. But... Oh, I'm thirsting. Oh, there's an arrow right here. All right. Go, go, go. So we won our first battle, guys, which is surprising. I know. <laughs> I, I really kind of thought we would die. I thought we were going to lose. Yep. But, you know, we're badass, so don't fuck with us. Is this some, like, stone we can gather? Oh. Ooh, salt. Salt crystal. Do some cooking. Oh, you gotta have a you gotta have a mining pick, Jinx. Well, that makes sense. Guess we're just berry gatherers, really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we keeping track of where we're going so we don't get lost? I'm staying on the road. So here's the here's the map, guys. So where are we at right I now? Know where we're at. Here's a bandit camp. So where's the city? Okay. Let's see if we can find it. Ancient runes. Is this us right here? Yeah. Yep. This is this is the arrow. It doesn't tell you where you are on the map. Oh, uh, okay. We're but we can kind of right figure there. it out. So that's the bandit camp. All right, if we're we wanted to go the there. Camp. Yeah, I guess we'll go to the bandit camp, guys. I don't want to go to the bandit camp. I said we're heading towards the bandit camp. <laughs> I thought you wanted to go, Jinx. No. Jinx thought, let's go to bandit camp. Two bandits almost killed you. <laughs> what do you think they're gonna do to my beautiful body? So I see that I'm thirsty over there, but we also have little raindrops. What does that mean? Does that mean I peed myself? Are we moist? No. Oh, okay, we're wet. Why are we wet? Maybe the dew from the grass? Mm, could be. All right, well, let's go ahead and tall. take a look at... I want to see when it tells us that we're thirsty. At what point? Well, I got down to 76%. Yeah, it seems like it kind of indicates well before you, you need to drink. I don't know if you get any penalties when you're thirsty. Oh, the max stamina decreases three times faster. Oh, shit. It does seem like it's going to rain. All right, so let's go ahead and get a sip, guys. The storm is brewing. Seems that each water skin has capa capacity of five, five water. One drink took me to 100%. Let me take a look here. And, yeah, one drink gets you 100%. Okay, well, I see the bandit camp. If Where's that's it at? What that is. It's supposed to be across, across a river, across a bridge. Let's see if there's any fish to catch. Yeah, that might be it. Let's take a look here. I don't know. There's supposed to be a bridge. I think we are maybe up here at the top. Might need to go south a little bit. Maybe let's see if we can find it. And sorry, guys, that my voice is so bad and it is only getting worse <laughs> yeah. as we record. Uh, what I'm kind of considering doing, because I don't know how many people are going to want to watch with this uh, really raspy voice that I got here, guys. I don't know. Uh, what we might do is wait a little while before we record episode two until my voice gets a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, and then because this is the first episode and it's kind of the introduction to our channel for a lot of people, might even, I don't know, might even re-record this. I don't know what would be the best option. I would love to hear from you guys, you know, especially you longtime subscribers. Is this tolerable? <laughs> Because I feel like I'm barely talking here. Oh, Jinx got seaweed. I got seaweed. I'm so proud of you, Jinx. I know. I faced my fears. Jinx, is, if you didn't know, is absolutely terrified of seaweed. Uh, when we went to the beach, went to the ocean, did you just find a chicken, Jinx? Yeah. Can you ride it? I don't know. Walk up to it, stick a finger in its ass. That's the best way to make friends, I found. Uh-oh. It's presenting to me. <laughs> Where are you at, Jinx? Oh, yeah, it's it looks violent. I don't know if this is a mating dance we're doing or we're, if we're about to fight. Did you stick the uh, finger in could, its ass, Jinx? No, not yet. It, it's protecting its ass. <laughs> well, that's part of the, the mating ritual. You got to get behind it. If you can do that, it's yours for oh, the rest okay. of your life. I can't hit it. So I'm trying to get the Jinx without completely depleting all of my stamina. I'm falling down a hill. Though, you should really be able to take a chicken. I should. Damn, where the fuck are you, Jinx? I'm down here. 
I told you do I was you, going to get some fish. Do you need assistance? No, I got this chicken. I just need you to not open maps while I'm battling. All right, I'm already here. I feel like maybe I'm a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> so can you get loot off the chicken? Can it's you? a pearl bird. Oh. I got an egg and some raw meat. I ran like all the way over here, guys, for yeah. nothing. I thought Jinx was right behind me, but apparently she was not following me. I told you I was stopping to gather fish. So Jinx has plenty of fish for us. We'll probably have to set up camp here in a little bit, get a little bit of sleep. Uh, the the longer that you venture out, the lower your max stamina and health get. So camping every night does seem to be a little bit of a requirement. We need to go back to town to sell my goodies. Let's just go a little bit further, Jinx. Okay. I think we should spend like a good solid day out here before There's we go back. There's a whole mountain of chickens. Oh, really? Yeah. I wonder if those eggs are worth anything. Oh, I think that's salt. Yeah, those are just those My are just salt My character's eyes are not too good. Can you mine something here? Oh, that's just the tree. <laughs> Got excited thinking I could mine some rocks. Gather all the trees. Because what kind of fucking survival game is this if I can't mine rocks? I really don't think that it's fair that they put fences out here in a game where you can't jump. Like, that's I found just not an right. adventurer's corpse. Oh, shit. And a fishing harpoon, a pungent paste, a firestone. Which I, I believe oh, you use those for... Yeah, for magic. Use alchemy kit to merge the stone and oil. Okay. And then also some weed. What? Okay. We're about, we are about to get fucking crunk tonight, Crazy. guys. These logs really have me thinking that they're hulking bandits. <laughs> Oh, it's so purple. Yeah, yeah, it's it's beautiful, right? Is that the I sun? I love it. The sun going down or something? I think it's just purple land. This is my home. Yeah, this is where we'll build our crib. Now, I don't know if there's any like building in the game or anything like that, guys. I don't think so. Could be wrong, though. There's got to be. You can build spikes. What are you defending against? Did you find something to fight, Jinx? No, just berries. Oh, I found a sign. Ah, uh, fight it. Southwest. Then Devil Fortress, Northwest, Sierra's Old Village. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to like climb over fences or anything like that. So. Which is unfortunate. Yep, no jumping in the game. So fences indeed do their job. Yeah, you don't really find too many uh, too many open world games these days that don't allow you to jump. Seems like a critical skill. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. It could get you into trouble. Yeah, this is gorgeous, Jinx. Mm-hmm. You wanna come lay down the flowers with me? Yeah. We'll hold hands. And get bugs. Smoke weed. This would be the perfect place to smoke, smoke weed. weed every day. <laughs> <laughs> see a little path up there? Yeah, I see that too. It's beckoning to me. It is. Like, I feel like there's something either terribly fascinating or dangerous. Like virgin nymphs. <laughs> Those uh -huh. are fascinating and dangerous. <laughs> oh, I found a crevasse. Oh, shit. <laughs> Do you think we should go in it? Probably pretty pretty difficult enemies in Look there, you think? Look at this giant metal floor. Like it's from the old world. Do you think we should enter the cave or, um, or wait? I did find some iron that we can, we can mine here. It's the Immaculate's cave. It is virgin nymph hill. Do you want to just hop in it real quick and we'll then... just, you know, take a peek. We'll just go explore real quick. And uh, hopefully... What could go wrong? We don't get ourselves killed here, guys. Because it does not take much to kill your character. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut past some of the loading screens, guys. Kind of so you don't have to sit through them. We get more into the video. All right, so I've got the lantern, which you can hang off of your your backpack. Uh, Jinx cannot hang it off of her satchel, though, unfortunately. Oh, I got a bad feeling about Oh, you can talk to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Don't call it a monster. Okay, so you want to read this version? And the circumstances of my creation are no one's concern but my own. But I am is alive. Is it my fault that my enemies stir in me an instinctual rage? I avoid contact with them for this very reason. I wish no one any harm. And the reason why I called him a monster is because I didn't want to say who are you when we have a little... <laughs> Indicator right above his like, his head that tells us exactly who we are. All right, uh, can you help me? I don't 
possess much, but I can offer you a piece of my survival gear. What need drives you? Oh, nice. So we can get power, storage, equipment, or shelter. Aw, or we could say, you probably need it more than I do. What do you think, Jinx? He just needs books. You think we should do equipment? Sure. <laughs> Here, I hope this helps you safe and alive. I will make do without. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, thank you, kind sir. I hope our paths cross again on my journey. Having friendly company brightens my day. See, Jinx? He, he gave me the fur armor because he, uh, he was happy to have a little bit of company. Aww. So we did him a service. I like this guy. I shall bring you books, friend. So I can finally, for once, no longer have to be in rags. Uh, though, I think this one's pretty warm, though. So I don't know if that's gonna end up getting me all sweaty and shit. Ooh, he's got good stuff. Oh, are you about to steal his shit, Jinx? I mean, I'm just looking. What did you find? There's some potions and axe if you want to dig around in there. All right, let's take a look here. We got spikes. So I'm going to go ahead and... Can I just take one of these? The cleaners? Removes the negative effects. I'll leave you one. Okay. A poison rag, soil cloth that envenoms a weapon when rubbed on it. Well, that's cool. It's like that. Uh, can I have the axe? Do you mind? I don't care. And I guess I'll take the spikes as well. Do you want the... The blessed potion? Recipe? Sure. Alright, so Jinx will take that, and I'll leave everything else for We need a mining pickaxe, man. We do, man. We do. Alright, so let's go and rock the axe. I'm curious to see how much durability this hatchet has lost from the fighting. Looks like not much. It does seem to go down kind of slow. Alright, so let's go and I'm gonna equip the badass brutal axe, guys. I was expecting you it to be... so cool. I was expecting it to be two-handed, but it's not. All right. Learn the blessed potion recipe. I found a skelly. Oh, is that his dinner? Is this it? Is that all that's in it. here? That's it. It's that's just this thing. guy's crib. Yeah. All right. Kind of explore around. It looks like there's also another iron vein in here. Mm -hmm. So if we find a pickaxe, then we might want to head over here so that we can get ourselves some iron. So we were talking about whether or not. Oh, there's a turn up here, Jinx. A, a turnip. <laughs> pick that up so we're talking about whether or not you could build a home and i completely forgot that we start the game with a home yeah we don't need to build anything we just need to pay off our debt so yeah we could always go back home and sleep instead of using you just ran off the cliff that's fine <laughs> Jinx don't give there's a, fuck. a term up <laughs> jinx got all excited for the turn up like i need a turn up guys oh it's not a term up do you think we should camp i don't know Seems keep exploring risky worried about these berries going bad and being worthless. Do you think you can s I don't think anybody buys the berries, Jinx. What? Well, I mean, they're like... The there's general merchant will buy my fish, at least. Yeah, but there's berry bushes, like, all over the town. Doesn't matter. They don't know how to pick them. You don't know that. They I could be very do. good at hunter-gathering. Alright, so... Northeast is the Hallowood Marsh. East is the Vigil Tower. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, yeah, oh. you are. So we should probably set a camp up. Yeah. There might be somewhere to sleep right over here, though. We'll take a look. For a fee. I saw something pop up. Might gather have just been a tree. gathering tree. Yep. Oh, oh there's, a tent. there's a worker, a dead worker in here. Oh shit! Okay. There's some tattered boots if you want them. I'm gonna take the hood though. Ooh, what's this? A dish of raw rainbow trout that keeps the fish's mana restoring. All right, mm. we'll take that then. All right, so did you want to set up a tent or do you want to just keep I on? I, I mean, you're pretty sleepy. Tent? I think I have what I need to make a tent. Let's just take a look at this. Maybe. Maybe not. We don't have any cloth or leather. Oh, okay. You have to make the bed roll. Got it. Damn. Yep. Yeah. You need to hide for that. So, yeah, I can't make that, unfortunately. Gotta go. All right, so I guess we're going to have to run home All so right. that Jinx can get some sleep. Where'd you get a hood? Well, I'm not tired anymore. Uh, on that worker. Oh, okay. Yeah, he had, uh, he had a hood and he had the, the boots. Oh, shit. You look like you're still tired, Jinx. You got the little sun icon. Just means I'm hot. I wonder why you're sleepy and I am not. Maybe because I was sprinting around. 
Or maybe it's just because Jinx is a sleepy person. True. They're trying to be authentic. Oh, I bet I'm just hot and tired from the, the torch I'm carrying. Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's take a look. I'm all sweaty. Let's take a look at how, how we're doing in, in regards to our, our sleepiness. I keep passing right by this. <laughs> yeah, I'm only at 79%. Yeah, we we're both of the same thing. I think you're just hot, Jinx. I'm just hot. Because we're sexy. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Yeah, I think it's holding the torch. Maybe it warms you up a little bit. Yeah, I guess I could put it out. Yeah, I've been trying to conserve. I really need it, yeah. I'm cooling down. Do we have any idea how we get back home? Yeah. I don't even know where we're at right now. <laughs> I think we're somewhere around here, maybe. Yeah. I have no idea where we're at. No, I, I know the way. All right, well, lead the way back to the village, Jinx, if you know we the way. We just need to find the road, that's all. I suppose I should probably turn the, the lantern on, because I can't see shit. Yeah, where the critter's going to jump out and bite our butts. All right, guys, so I have no idea how to get back to the camp, because I wasn't paying attention. I think, I think we're heading the right way. I think so. I think it's just dark. All right, well, that's north. <laughs> so dark. Let me just take a look here. Yeah, it kind of sucks it didn't show you on the map, but I guess that's kind of more authentic. Well, I found the fence area. There's a lot of fence areas. Yeah, Jinx. well, the one that we need. I'm tired. I found the gates. Is that the gates to the uh, the village? It's either the gates to the village or the gates to a bandit camp. We'll find out soon. Yeah, I think they were probably running towards... I don't remember... <laughs> do you remember going through gates? No. No, I don't think... Maybe we should sneak. Although, if you got the uh, campfire <laughs> out, I don't think it's going to be very useful. Yeah, this is this is not the way we went, Jinx. No. Oh, shit. We're lost. Somebody's oh, been shit. hanged. I feel pretty confident that we're probably running towards the bandit camp, Jinx. So, yeah, we're going to go this way. Yeah, we should probably go the opposite way. Though, I do want to see if you can climb this, this tower here. No. Nope, can't climb okay, it. Okay, well, I found... The, like, big hilly thing. We just gotta hug these cliffs. Yeah, I want to say that that's gotta be... Bandic. That might... Be, actually, you know what? That might be the fort, Jinx. Surely not. You think I should head over to it? No. Just Stay wander the over course. there? <laughs> well, I want to see what this little little box over here is. It's a There's death something, box. Something loot. Half a Follow wall. Follow Jinxie. She know the way. This is somebody who was building a wall, like in the forest. It looks like one of the forest walls. Mm -hmm. And then they realized how many fucking trees it takes like, to build a wall. Oh, not said, doing that. Nope, not doing this. All right, well, there's a bridge here. So it's got to be... Why are you going to the bandit camp? Is it the bandit camp, Yes. Though? I don't think it is, Jinx. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're coming up from the north. Going up north. All right, so we're right here, I think. You are. I'm going home. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to get get a, a bearing on where I was located. I see. Did you get a bearing? Yeah, yeah. I think I know where I'm at now. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and cut all this part while we travel because it's, it's dark and it's boring. Can't see anything anyway. It also gives my voice a little bit of a rest. And uh, we'll pick back up as soon as we get back to the town or if anything interesting happens. All right. So we are back in the village. I just noticed now that the lighthouse does serve as a kind of a guide uh, so that you can easily find the village. It's bright as shit, too. I'm going to take a wild guess oops, that all the stores are probably closed right now. I don't know. Is, like, we don't have any street lights or anything? Maybe not. It doesn't really seem like the, night, the day and night cycle affects anything. No. <laughs> Other guy's got like a lightsaber. All right, so we can come here and sell all of our... All of our goods that we found. Try to, anyways. Oops. All right. So Is there the something up. you need? Do you want to see my wares? <laughs> All right. So I'll probably get rid of some of the lower-rated weapons. Do you want an extra fission harpoon? Or are you good? No, I'm good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sell that. Hey there. It is kind of weird that everyone's just walking around in the dark. Yeah, it's kind of odd that the day and night cycle doesn't really seem to affect anything. That the stores are all open. Mm-hmm. All right, not seeing much else that we might want to sell here. I might sell the Firestone just for a little bit of money. But that is pretty useful for, like, the fire abilities. 
Maybe we should keep it. I don't know. I got some shrimp. I mean, I'm not really seeing anything else to, to sell here. So how much money do you have? 28 silver. Oh. That's, that's all I got, Jinx. That's not good. <laughs> so before I sell some of these alchemy ingredients, I want to say the alchemist has a uh, quest for us to do. Okay, I'm almost done. Like, I kind of feel like maybe I should sell the meat, but... Well, it does go bad if you don't yeah. cook it, so... And do I really need the machete? We could always go back to the to the kitchen. Yeah. At our house. Yeah, I cook sold something. everything. <laughs> Damn, Jinx sold everything that she had. I'm rich, hey, that. bitch. Alright, so I want to say that there's a quest Here's here. The uh, crystal powder to brew advanced potions. Well, nice. Supposed to get Listen. All right, so we got our first little quest. That's one of the ones I meant to get. I want to say there's like one or two other quests in the village that you can do. And good God, guys, my voice is so yeah. bad. <laughs> I do apologize. I know that this is really rough to listen to. Um, yeah, it just sucks. It just really sucks because we were, we're looking forward to this game. I know for so long, you need? and just something that we really, can really wanted to play. Help with this. Okay, he's got a quest as well. Oh, I think maybe all the, the shopkeepers have quests. So he wants us to go to Berg to deliver a ledger, a ledger. to the general store. Excellent. All right, we'll go ahead and take that mission then. All right. It's like, can I take a ledger too and get my own payment? <laughs> so where? Oh, you can't see the big map on here. Oh. So they did fix the map last night when we were playing. Yeah, this, it was broken. It was not working properly. Uh, so now we can kind of see where everything's at. There's the chef. There's the trainers. Uh, there's, you know, shopkeeper Duran, the alchemist, sea salt inn, and the Helen. town hall. Okay. So we should probably head back home, get some rest, sleep through the night, because I don't even know how well you guys Tired. can see right now. I yeah, can't see either, man. It's pretty dark. This place is not safe. I think I'm going to trip and fall and then sue the town. <laughs> Like, we need safety, safety rails and lighting so people don't fall to their deaths. All right, so let's head back to the lighthouse and try and get some rest, guys. I can't believe they would try to take the lighthouse from us. It's been in our family for centuries. Well, when you owe a debt, Jinx. So whose debt is it? Is oh it your God. grandma who fucked up or mine? We'll just say it's yours. <laughs> Why would it be my grandma? Because I don't have a family, Jinx. Oh, that's true. Okay, so here's our stash. It looks like there's actually items in here. What? Yeah, there's linen cloth in here. There's a water skin. No. <laughs> and a gray garb. All right. Well, the gray garb has resistance of three. It has a little bit of cold, cold weather defense as well. I don't know if that's actually better than mine. Well, it's gray and purple, which are my favorite colors. So maybe I should have it. <laughs> <laughs> so Jinx has claimed, claimed the... Uh, Clothing. Yoink. I want to say mine is better anyway. My it fur probably armor is. Yeah. I mean, look at this. This drab, drab dress. I don't know. I oh think that my god! If it matches your hair, Jinx. It does. It looks so awesome. Do you want these green ugly clothes? <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, Jinx. I think we should. You should probably sell them. Yeah, that's true. It looks so awesome. Let's Amazing. see if we can cook anything here. Looks like that is a no. Could put one of these random ingredients in there, though. If you got any meat, we cook it. I well, don't... I did, but, you know. Oh, yeah, that's right. You sold everything, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we'll there's... We'll go back out in the morrow. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, you can cook the berries. Oh, shit. Makes some should... jam. Yeah, we should probably do that, then. Uh, looks like it makes uh, boiled gab berries. Ew. What if you gross. put two in there? Doesn't do anything. Okay. I guess gonna try. I mean, we have bread and we have berries, so we should be able to make like some some jelly sandwiches. All right, so made some boiled gab berries. Looks like it might be just rots a little bit less slowly. Doesn't does, actually. Does anybody want a jelly sandwich? <laughs> All right, so let's go and sleep, guys. It's like really really dark up in here. Can't see shit. No. So, I don't have cat eyes. Which bed do you want, Jinx? The red or the blue one? The red one's mine. 
It's all velvety. All right, so we don't have to worry about ambush, so we can just sleep. Probably want to repair our equipment just a little bit too, though. We can't trust these fucking neighbors. I don't know how long we need to sleep. About probably about five hours. Yeah, I don't know. I was doing five hours of sleep and two hours of repair. Two hours of repair and five of sleep? That's what I did, yeah. Okay. Well, you don't have to do the same thing as me, Jinx. I mean, I do. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm pretty sure you can do whatever you want. I, well, I know that our times have to be the same. Yeah, we have to have the same, like, total time. Mm -hmm. But I think you can spend that time doing... However you would like. Yep, yep. So, like, I, I could... I could just stay up watching you. Yeah, Jinx could stay up <laughs> guarding for longer. Just, I'll wake up. She'll be breathing on my face all close. <sighs> watching me as I sleep. <laughs> Spreading jelly on you. Spreading jelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wake up, Jet and Jinx is gonna be licking, je licking jelly off of my belly. You've been jammed. All right, so I want to see if we did refill all of our sleep. It looks like we did. All right, it's so probably slept a little bit longer than we needed to. I should have spent a little more time repairing. Seems all of my equipped stuff is fully repaired, so yeah, it seemed to be good. Oh, because I went to bed with my torch. <laughs> oh. So that's what we were talking about. Do you not even have your weapon equipped? No, I don't. I mean, it's in my pocket. <laughs> a lot of good it does there. So Jinx didn't spend any time repairing her. I mean, it's fine. Her weapon. It's fine. All right, guys. So we're going to be ending the episode soon. Obviously, my voice is just so bad. It's giving out. Yeah, it's not, not making it. I want to check what's up here, though. I'm curious because uh, it's a big yeah, building. A is this is this the town hall? Maybe. Right, let's go and gather all the berries. Hello. We'll talk to anybody else we can talk to. Try and get as many quests as we can before we go out again. Oh, there's a great axe. Oh. Good for chopping down trees. I pick that there's up. There's gotta be a pickaxe around Did you want to go inside the town hall sure. and uh, see if there's any quests in here? Nobody's awake. It's too early. Greetings. How go your efforts? Listen well. All right, so he can teach us about combat. I think the gatekeeper can teach us about surviving yeah, the wild. You already know all that. If you're looking for news, the inn is always a good place so to try. So we probably want to hit the inn up. Yeah, I didn't even know there was an inn. Well, we did know that because I talked about it when we looked at the map <laughs> earlier. But so well, you, you did know, Jinx. But I didn't know. Because <laughs> Jinx doesn't listen to anything I say. Ooh, goodies! I found a chest. Oh, what's in it? Red light clothes, some tea, and a poison rag. Yoink! No, did you take all of it? Yeah. Oh. I thought you were going to leave me like half. But Why would I do that? Because I wanted you half, the outside. Jinx. Half. Hey. Uh, maybe this this here might be the inn? It looks like an inn. It looks like an inn if I've ever seen one. Wait, what the fu Oh, it's a case. <laughs> I'm trying to break her. Her decorative case this for is, her weapon. This is not the inn, guys. I, I want to say the inn is on the far edge of the village. All right, water, water purifier. Water purifier. All right, there's a sea salt inn. It seems to be right next to the oh, alchemist. Okay. So we'll hit the inn up, guys, before we end the episode. See, maybe this is the inn? This could be it. It's gotta be. It looks inny. Yep, there's the inn. All right, so this is where we get ourselves a stiff drink. Nice. Oh, I went to the same spot I think you did. Because it looks like an inn, right? It does. What is it? Well, she's kind of rude. She really is. All right, so we can get a room for her, which we don't need. The customers have been talking. Uh, better find that silver if you don't want to lose your home. Uh, who was that needed a job? Damn, I missed it. <laughs> All right, so somebody needed a job. I guess I can try talking to her again. What is it? And see whose name that was. The customers she... have been talking. Uh, Helen Turnbull. Oh, okay, that's why she was on there. All right, so we'll go ahead and talk to Helen Turnbull. I better get a quest from her. Kind of wander around the inn, see if there's anything else that we can steal. Man, I'm sick of people treating us like shit. I know we're like the fucking loser of the village. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be the loser of the village. Just because we're debtors. Because my grandma did something probably awesome and heroic that got everybody killed. That's not my fault. <laughs> Alright, so I don't see anything that we could pick up here. 
So I think the final thing we'll probably do, guys, is go talk to that Helen, Helen Burball. You said she was on Burball. The, <laughs> yeah, that's her name, Burball, Furball. Was she on the map? Helen Burball. Yeah, she's down there in the corner. Oh. So in that place we thought was an inn? Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll go up here and talk to her. See if, she's got, see if she's got a quest for us, guys. Greetings, friend. Lend me your ear. I'm always interested in curiosities. What have you so got? I, I lied to her. I don't have any item for her. I got her hopes all up, and it's kind of fucked up. Lend me your ear. As a matter of fact, I could use a brush explorer for something. Is what I need. All right, so she needs a rare mushroom and grows in blister burrow. You'll know mm. it if you find it. All right, so it's a big old fat red mushroom. Can't miss it. 70 silver. Ah, diggity. All right, Perfect. sounds like an adventure. Make sure you have a good weapon, a lantern, and plenty of supplies. All right, so this cave Let looks like area. it might actually be a little bit more dangerous than I'll the last cave you. we went into. Yeah, I don't know. The I mean, last we, cave had books. An adventure. I think, I think we probably are good as far as gear goes. I, I think the only problem is going to be that we don't have enough uh, health health packs. So I'm, I'm going to use those bandages I picked up earlier mm -hmm. to make us... I don't know why I keep getting my weapon out, guys. I'm just <laughs> always ready for a fight, I suppose. I'm uh, going to so, go catch some fish. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, so having slept in, in Sierzo increases our cold weather defense and our stamina cost of actions is less. Oh, really? So that's pretty okay. useful. Well, I thought I was going to catch some fish. So you can't... They won't buy the primitive clubs, guys. The first time we played this, I tried crafting a bunch of primitive <laughs> clubs to get a bit of money. They won't. They won't buy you it. You couldn't get rid of them. We can make a shield, though. So that seems like it would be useful. I hope you else. can't accidentally attack people on this. I, I don't think so. I could be wrong, though. Should I use two of my linen jinx to make a shield? To make a shield? Yeah. I mean, you might need one. I don't know. Or do you think I should just make bandages? Probably bandages. I'll just make bandages. Alright, so we got two bandages. Did you want me to drop one for you, Jinx? Do you no, have it's a, fine. Do you have bandages? You seem to need them more than I do. I got the pokey stack. I did great in that combat, Jinx. I killed my guy all by myself. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and, and gather some water here. And get a little sip. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And then I want to say that we're pretty much ready to go. I might go and sell some of my stuff since I don't think there's anything I can do with it. It might be good to save it, but I'm kind of worried about my bag being a little bit too full. I wish I could greet you with a smile, but well. Wow. Rude, dude. That's our bestest pal, Jinx. He's on. He doesn't want to smile at me, though. All right, where the hell is the merchant? Right, so I'm going to sell all my stuff, guys, and then Is I want to say that we're pretty much ready to go. Unique. But once again, we're probably going to do that next episode, mainly just for my voice, just to give me a little bit of time to, to heal it up, uh, because this is this is terrible. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and sell a few things there. Uh, and, you know, I might do that off camera. Strange brew that moves most negative effects. I guess we can get rid of these bees, or these uh, bugs, I guess, the beetles. Yeah, I sold those to the... Um... Pungent paste. Oh, lady. this is for sleeping. Oh, shit, okay. So you're not as tired. Interesting. Because it's pungent. You can't mm -hmm. sleep if something's stinky. Did you sell your your poison rag? Yeah. Hmm. Trying to gather the funds. We're on day two. We don't have anywhere near the amount <laughs> true, of money true, we true. need. Yep. We're going to lose the farm. So these crafting, do I need to read these to get the recipe from Yeah, them? you do. Okay, and do, then are they gone once you read them? Yes. Okay, got it. I guess I'm gonna sell the weed, Jinx. I haven't figured out a way to smoke it yet. We got no pipes. <sighs> it's of no use to us. No pipes, no paper. Is there anything Just else to sell? sell? I think I'm gonna keep all the rest of this shit. I'm gonna see if I can find a pickaxe. I guess I can sell this. It puts a lot of food up, but it seems to go bad kind of quick. And it's worth a lot of money, guys. All right. 
confirm. And I think we should probably buy... Do you have any bandages, Jinx? No. I think you should probably buy some bandages. You think so? Yeah, because it's the main way to heal ourselves. And I really did. And maybe you get a new backpack with all that money that you're sitting on. I'm trying to pay off debts, man. <laughs> Let's just get a couple a couple bandages, guys. I'll check what can that I do for you? Guy in a second. All right. And I want to say that's probably good. I'm going to sell this. I think I'm going to sell this axe, too. Let's take a look here. Oh, oh the axe is actually is 20 silver. better than the sword. But we need it. All right. Surely we can find one somewhere. Find what? The mining pick? How much is yeah, it? Yeah, it's 20. Oh, wow. That's a pretty penny. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I think we we'll, we might find one out in the, it's a bit the wild. Steep. So where is this place that we're... Oh, we can't even look. All right. Do you think we should exit here so we can kind of look on the map and see where we're going? If you want. Did yeah. you want to go buy those bandages first? I... Uh, I thought we were gonna step out. Greetings, friend. Map. Oh, this guy sells stuff as well. What all's he got? Is he like a traveling merchant? Is there uh, something you need? Is that the caravan? Or yeah, you're yeah. To? There's a big old key he has. I have no idea what it goes to, but oh, shark cartilage as well. Hmm. Make a special weapon. Adventure. Trader boots. Oh, the bedrolls only five. Do you have one of those? No, I don't. I guess I should probably buy one, huh? I don't know if you can sleep in it multiple times. Let's go ahead and use these. So did you buy the linens for the bandages or the bandages? I bought the actual bandages. Oh. How much are the linen? One. You know what? It's probably more profitable to buy the to buy those then. But don't if you can leave me one so I can craft. Okay. That, I just bought the two. Yeah, I think that's the most profitable way to do it. You save one one silver, I think. Go to that way. Is there something you need? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy the bandages as well. Oh, I'm not bandages. Where's the cloth? I made a bandage. All right, and this will allow me to make a shield, guys. I think that Where would did be. You go? Did you get the backpack like I told you to? No. Jinx, get the I backpack. I don't need a backpack. You can carry more. I think you carry double the stuff if you get a backpack, Jinx. You don't want. Fine. You don't want to carry more like more goodies? No. <laughs> All right, where's the... Uh... Oh, right there. and there's a tent as well. I guess we're poor, though. Probably shouldn't be going to get it. Yeah. I think it's a small bonus to stand up use. All right, we're just going to get the improvised bedroll for right now. There's only the one. <laughs> the one what? The one bedroll. Oh, you don't have a bedroll? No. Okay, there's no point on me buying one, then, if you don't have one. Yeah. Hey there! All right, so we won't buy that yet. We'll wait. Unless one of the other merchants has a bedroll. Yeah, I'm looking. It would be nice to be able to sleep through the night out there, so we don't have to keep coming back here to the village. Yeah, one person would have to have a tent, and the other the bedroll, but... Yeah, we're too broke for all that, Jinx. Yeah. Did you check the traveling merchant? Oh, no, I didn't. I'll go run over there and ask him. See if he's got a bedroll. Because, yeah, that would be... The best way to do this, so we don't Greetings, keep traveling back friend. here. Let's take a look. I think I came... I don't think he has a bedroll. Nope, no you bedroll. You think that would be something a traveling merchant would have? He does have some badass-looking spikes, though. He does. They're all glowy. All right, so... Let's go ahead and dip out, guys. We got the basic stuff that we need here. So we're going to dip outside. We're going to take a look at the map and see where exactly it is that we need to go to uh, to complete that one quest. And there's the the one for the cave, and then there's the one for the, the village that we need to go to. All right, so we're outside. Let's take a look at these two locations we need to go to. So there's the bandit camp. Ruins. A fortress. That's not it either. Okay, so these are the new maps. Oh, okay. I want to say when you go to new maps, you want to have those traveling rations. Oh, okay. Hmm. Because apparently it's very far. All right, guys, I don't see it anywhere on this map, so I think we would have to travel to another map. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, I'm not oh, seeing shit. I'm yeah. not seeing any other towns here. So, yeah, if we wanted to complete her quest, it would take a while. What about that cave? Is that on the map anywhere? I don't see it. No, I don't see it either. I want to say it's like that little covey area. I believe she explained it to us, so it might be in our journal. 
let's take a look real quick, guys. Uh, so, yeah, we need to pay 150 silver. Doesn't tell us how many more days we have left to do that. Uh, rest in one of the... Do we both have to pay 150 silver or just one of us? Ooh, I, I hope it's just one of us. Yeah, because that's a lot of silver we got to produce. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm not seeing any additional quests here, guys. So it must not be like a full quest. There's another tab. Thing. Is there? How do you get to it then? Oh, minor quest. Here we go. All right, interesting. I might actually have to look at all the other tabs and see if there's any other. Because R2L2 is how you navigate that. So here's the crystal powder mission. So they need uh, crystal powder, of course. Uh, this is bringing the ledger to Berg. Berg. Which you don't know where that is yet. And this is the mushroom for the depths of the uh, blister burrows, which is supposed to be northeast, northeast. of Sierzo. Yeah, okay. All right, so we'll take a look at the map in a second, see exactly where that might be. I did want to see if there's any other tabs, though, before we leave here. Oh, yes, here we go. So active skills, passive skills, or cosmetic skills. Oh. Make yourself Can look you pretty. Fancy hat? Change the color of your hair. Grow the size of your boobies. What? Give myself a tight ass. You're rude. All the ladies like. I don't need boobies. I'm an adventurer. I'm not saying you need boobies. Oh, I'm talking you about need me. Boobies? Yeah. You know I need some good sized breast chinks. Okay. Alright, and then this also allows you to, to kind of navigate based on, you know, deployables. Oh, I have a bedroll. You bought one. No, I didn't buy it. Oh, you didn't? No, I bet you can go back in and buy it. I have a bedroll. You know what? I might have picked this I up. Have one? I think I might have picked it up at some point. But I'm pretty positive I didn't buy it. You go up to deployables with L2. You said L2? Yep. Yeah, you don't have it. Oh, okay. So I'm pretty sure you can go buy. So yeah, we might... have to do that. Yeah, we'll go and dip back in and see if Jinx can buy that. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't buy it. I might be wrong. Uh, let me just take a look, because I bought one thing. I might have bought, I might have put the, uh, let me just take a look here, guys, and see if I put the bedroll back or if I put the cloth back. No, I have the bandages. Okay. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I, I already had the bedroll, so I think you can make it. Yeah, because I can make the plank shield. I'm going to go ahead and make a shield, guys, and that'll likely be the last thing we do here. I'm going to go ahead and equip it, see if I can use it with this weapon that I have, because I don't, it looks like it's one-handed, right? I want to say it is. You look so majestic in your white outfit. I do, don't know. That hood is a bit... Yeah, a little bit yeah. raggedy. All right, let's just take a, a look. Yep. Dingy. All right, so I can't equip. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so I'm going to be rocking a shield and axe. Jinx has still got her pokey pole, her fishing pole. <laughs> uh, that is actually going to be the end of this episode. Once again, guys, I'm really sorry for the, the sickness. This is, you know, obviously not the way we wanted to do this. Uh, but we did want to cover it, and I have no idea when I'm going to get my voice back. It could be days. Yeah, I can't even get through the damn outro without coughing. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I don't know when the next one's going to be, because I think we are going to wait a little bit uh, and go ahead and, and put that out once I can talk a little bit better. Uh, probably shouldn't have done this one. I thought that my voice would hold out a little bit better, since it has been about two days since I got sick. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and... And this one here, if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, also, uh, if you did enjoy this series, even with the shitty voice, maybe go check out some of our other series where we're not sick. Uh, we've got a ton of different series on the channel. We play all kinds of games from survival to RPG to strategy games to, you know, action FPS type games. Uh, so... You should be able to find something that you enjoy. Uh, just go to our front page to look at all of our series. Uh, and most of them we're not sick for. I think this is the first episode one we've ever been sick for, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we typically don't start new series when we're sick, but we are just so excited for this one. Uh, so go check out those. If you're looking for any links, uh, like our social media links, Twitter, Facebook, uh, or a link to our Patreon or our PayPal to support the channel, or to our Discord channel, which we have a pretty good community. Uh, you talk about, you know, games, politics. We have different sections for everything. Overall, pretty good community. Looking for somewhere to, to chat with people. Uh, then check out our Discord. And all of those links are in the description of any of our videos below. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hope to see you on the next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.